Scusi. Scusi, I was getting something to drink. Scusi. Let's see. What do we have here? What is Junio? That was the test bed for uh, Julio Cesar. The test bed for Julio Cesar. Let's see. Uh, when they, they considered moving at the tier 6. And then people had a absolute shit fit. So <laughs> that didn't happen. Okay. Let's see. Andrea Doria. Let's go to equipment first. What do we have here? Okay. No smoke on this one yet. Repair party. Standard repair party by the looks of it, nothing special there. And yeah, the hole and everything. Yeah, this makes sense. Okay, let's go back. Wait, how did I go jump back to the tech tree? That's gonna be annoying if I have to do this every time. Mm, whatever. Italy, Andrea Doria, and preview ship. Here we go. Right, let's see. Survivability. Hit points 41.3. Andrea Doria. Andrea Doria. Is that how you pronounce it? Andrea Doria? This is the stock hull, huh? Shame I can't equip the, the upgraded hull. It's gonna be all stock hulls. That's unfortunate. It will give... Most likely the armor scheme is gonna be identical though. For stock and upgraded hull. So at least we can look at... Standard 26, oh, 44, 38. Honest, just based, in the, based on the shape alone, the ship looks better at kiting away, just because you can take a lot more hits on this area. I don't know about the shape of this hull though. This looks like potential shell catcher right here. You can see the upgraded stats. Are you seeing them now or? I mean, you can look at, yeah, I mean, you can go, I, you can equip it. You can go to equipment here and equip it to see. It gives you a bit more health. It gives you better maneuverability, better AA. And this one is 17.2 range. But from here, you can't go back to the, the one we just had, can you? No, that's unfortunate. There's a cam symbol. Oh, okay, I'm retarded. Okay, let's see. How did you do this? I haven't done this. Go to equipment. There is a cam symbol. There is. Where? Ah, yeah, yeah, there. Okay. Can you mount this? I wish you could permanently mount them. Oh, well. This works. This works. This works. Here we get to see the upgraded. Hold on. Let's see. What I'm more interested in, however, is... Oh shit, it's actually true. We're gonna switch port after this, but don't tell me. This is not Citadel, is it? No, this is just armor. These are gonna be the ultimate, most potato-proof Citadels in the game. These Citadels are gonna be absolutely impossible to reach. This down here is the Citadel. You see this thing? That's the Citadel. It has... Um, I, I read about this. They have like um, they have underwater citadels protected by a turtle bag. Like <laughs> I, I don't know how on earth you're actually gonna reach this thing, because uh, even if you can manage to bypass the turtle bag, oh this is still citadel. Oh never mind this this thing is still citadel. Wait how the hell does this work? Can you play a game of Palio today? Uh, um, Palio, Holton, Piele, thank you for the three. Paolo? Do you mean Paolo? Maybe he means Paolo. So this is... So this is the Citadel. It's not that bad, but how, ba how, how big is this turtle bag? Oh man. Good luck, like... Uh, are you gonna... Can you punch straight through here? I doubt it. There's gonna be hidden plates, aren't there? Oh, well you can kinda see here, through here. It's gonna be some hidden plates, right? Otherwise, this thing can... I'm trying to see if there's any hidden plates, but it looks like you can kind of just punch straight through into the citadel. Check her bow section to balance her by taking a huge section out of her bow plates. 
Are you mean this part? Is this supposed to be above the waterline normally? This is a bit curious that this is underneath the waterline. What do you mean more up? Is this supposed to be above waterline normally? Or what do you mean? Look at the texture. Okay, let's get rid of armor layer. Oh, is this supposed to be plaything? Is this all supposed to be plaything? It is? Wait, hold on. Oh yeah, you can see you can see this is plate. This is all plate, but this part here, I guess that's supposed to be plate as well. It's so blatant if you look at the stern. Oh yeah. Here you can see the texture. Oh shit, it's got a th chunky booty. Oh yeah, you can see it lines up really well with here. That's where the plate starts. It lines up perfectly where the plate starts. The armor. And then this is supposed to be all of that thick plate all the way... All the way up here. But the armor actually ends here. This looks kind of artificial, like... <laughs> Oh yeah, I, I see what you mean. I see what you mean. I, I'm pretty. This looks like it should be the same plate as in the stern. So I guess they took that away. Because I mean, you can you can clearly see where the plate is supposed to start. You can see the different in textures and the way the plate. You see the this the way these plates look. These are clearly armored plates. These are armored plates, and they start here, and it's perfectly lined up here in in the stern. But then up here, it's suddenly like, nah, <laughs> you don't need this part anymore. This should be taller as well. Then actually, let me see, can we see? Oops, sorry, let's see. Should it be all the way up here? I mean, it's this is all plated. I think it's supposed to continue all the way up here. Okay, well, that's a mild surprise. It is, after all, not a Russian ship, so... They get they get armor from magical secret documents, whereas everyone else kind of loses armor. <laughs> Accurately recreate ships after historical blueprints. I haven't seen the blueprints, so I can't, I can't tell, but... Um, and so I, I can't like definitely say anything, but I, I will say that based on the model, this looks like it should be part of the uniform armor plates. Like you, you can clearly see where the plating is supposed to be, and for some reason the plating cuts off here. Um, I, I, I'd say weird, to say the least. I'd say weird, to say the least. Andrea Doria, though. At 10, 200, 320 millimeter guns, and of course, sap being the main gimmick. This thing does not have smoke. A is dreadful because it's Italian. Pretty decent speed for tier 6, 27, and handles well as well. And the concealment 13.8 is not bad at all. Hmm. From Wikipedia, the Andrea Dori Doria class ships had a complete waterline armor belt with a maximum thickness of 250 that reduced 250 millimeters that, that reduced to 130 towards the stern and 80 millimeters towards the bow. Wow, uh, according to Wikipedia, it should absolutely have that armor. <laughs> okay, well, whatever. <laughs> <laughs> details, minor details, Tovarich, whatever, minor details, minor details. Uh, how dare you question glorious, glorious wargaming. Let's see. And then we have the If Caracciola. If Caracciola. What do we have here? Go to equipment. 
So, let's see. Let's slot this. Still no scrolling smoke. Standard heal, standard damage con no spot plan. That's pretty really important. These things will struggle to shoot into smokes or to get extra range. Upgraded range is 17. Okay, let's take a look at this ship then. Francisco Caracciola. Damn, I forgot to switch the port. This is annoying with all this Halloween stuff going on in the background. Okay, first of all, these turrets look so out of place. Holy god, these turrets look out of place. Are you kidding me? They look like someone just plopped a pair of squares on top of the ship. They look so out of place on the ship. Are you kidding me? Where's those smooth, streamlined turrets that we're used to seeing from the, the Italian ships? These are just a pair of squares that were... Like a pair of Lego blocks that were dropped on top of it. Oversized Zara. Alright. Same thing in the back. They Look how oversized they look for the ship. They look so oversized. It's like they're scaling wrong or something. It looks hilarious. Hmm. They are massive on the ship. Is it turrets that are too large or is the ship just really small? Let's see. What are the guns? 381mm guns at tier 7. That's pretty effective. Uh, standard sap things. Survivability, 54.5k health. Uh, so still better than Odin, of course. That's important. Can't have Odin health. That, that would be tragic. 42% um, torpedo belt. That's actually really good. Without any upgrades, that's actually really good. God damn. Let's see what the armor. Oh, hello. Now, that's an icebreaker and a half. Holy crap. 150mm icebreaker. And this thing rises high above the waterline. Are you kidding me? Tier 7 with this kind of icebreaker? Oh, man. Imagine being in Nagato or Colorado or something like that. Uh, this thing with the 380s is going to have no issues overmatching them, but they can't overmatch it back. Jesus. That's going to be that's gonna be a rough one. 26mm plate. Let's see. Oh, this thing needs to be turned off or turned on. I think these things might be pretty easy to break. I think these turrets are going to break a fair bit, mostly because they present these huge targets, flat square plate targets. I think these things are going to break a lot just because of how huge and just how flat they are to shoot at. 16 millimeter, 26 millimeter plate. 30 millimeter deck armor at tier 7, probably not really gonna be that impressive. Uh, and oh, upper belt 220, 300 millimeter. Wow, that's a lot of a plate, honestly. This thing angled is gonna be pretty nasty to try to do, deal AP damage to. This is a chunky goddamn belt here, holy crap. This is a chunky belt, it extends all the way back here. Got a bit of protection down here as well, and the stern is 26 as well. I think this thing is gonna be, uh, this thing is gonna be pretty damn tanky. Like unless you give broadside, that's a lot of armor. Even when yeah, even when up tiered, I feel like you're gonna do okay with this armor. In order to overmatch this 30 millimeter deck armor, you're gonna need 406s. And I mean, with the concealment 14.3, you can get that down. You can get that down a fair bit as well. So. 29 knots, this thing is fast, handles quite well. Handles actually 740 turning circle and 40 point. This handles pretty damn well. Oh, 30 millimeters. Oh, sorry, yeah, you need uh, 431s. My bad, my bad. Because it's 30. Oh, never mind. This thing is actually going to up to you really well. What, what can overmatch it? Uh, Georgia and Musashi. That's pretty much it. Is there anything else that can overmatch it? I don't think so. So, I mean, obviously this can be overmatched by everyone. And this, to be fair, don't don't think this thing is going to be uh, uh, like uh, super, super, like uh, completely uh, undefeatable uh, because this is a big nose and a lot of area to land shells and overmatch on. So this thing will still hit damage, but let's see what the Citadel looks like. Oh boy. That's the, that's the turtle back. And that is a slope turtle back. Holy shit, that is a slope turtleback. And the turtleback extends pretty deep underwater as well. 
This is not like FDG Turtleback that just goes bar barely... Oh, shut up, Stream Raiders. It's not like FDG Turtleback that goes barely below the water. This thing goes super deep. I think this thing is gonna be nasty to get any sits on. Like, super nasty to get sits on. It's gonna be rough to deal with this thing pushing into you. Like, uh, this thing might actually do really well against the likes of Sinop. You just charge in. I mean... <laughs> Can't be, can't be sit through the nose, and then you try, drive by, he shoots you. Sure, he's gonna do a lot of pen damage, like on Germans, but he won't get sits. He will not get citadels. Damn. Interesting. Interesting, interesting. And then, of course, AP. Yeah, yeah you'll be shooting sap at them, AP at broadside. Interesting, okay. Interesting for, let's see, let's see, let's strip away some more of the plating. Oh, but is that the Citadel? Holy shit! Maybe I'll have to take back my words. Is this gonna be, is this entire thing gonna be a Turtleback protected? I wonder. I mean, this is the classical Turtleback shape, but I thought this was gonna be the protected area, but it's up here as well? I don't think this is Turtleback protected. I don't think this is Turtleback protected at all. Unless there's some massive, massive hidden plates to protect it, like some diagonal hidden plates hidden inside here. Uh, I think this can fig... Uh, no, I'm not seeing it, honestly. Yeah, I think this thing is... Let's see. Yeah, I think this thing is just going to be absolutely booty blasted. Absolutely booty blasted this citadel. I'm not seeing any sort of super sloped hidden plates in here. It looks like just standard thick plate. Dude, uh, <laughs> I take it back to super tankiness. I think broadside this thing can absolutely be blood. That's, that's a lot of citadel to hit. That is a lot of citadel. That's free real estate, that citadel. Are you kidding me? And honestly, AP bombers, well, it is pretty narrow. It does have that going for it. The citadel is pretty narrow, but it's still a long citadel. Hmm. We'll see. We'll have to test it, but... Shells are going to bounce off the lower turtle bag and then just go straight into the race citadel. Jesus, that's a potential threat, I'm isn't a very it? very stable genius. That's actually a potential threat, like... Keep up the animal research late guy. I mean, I'll think of something funny to say next month. It, I could easily see it bouncing up. I could easily see it bouncing up into the Citadel. Huh. <laughs> Imperator Danny, thank you for the 49. Yeah, uh, I don't think you want to give broadside in the Francisco Cracciolo. I think giving broadside in this thing is going to be very dangerous indeed. Jesus. Okay, um, let's see, back to tech tree. And then we have V Veneto, Vittorio Veneto. But is this just this is just gonna be? This is the uh, yet another uh, Roma, isn't it? It's another Roma, isn't it? Yeah, this looks exactly like the Roma. Have they actually removed the plate that says Roma on this thing? They have. Okay, well done, Wargaming. Well done, Wargaming. At least you removed the plate. In the past, uh, like the Littorio had the Roma plate. If you took, if you took, I wonder if you can still do it actually, uh, or have they fixed them? Did Did they ever patch that? Let me see if I can show you guys. Let's see, Italian. Let's see if they ever actually patched that, but on the Littoria, on the Littoria, if you went back here and then you took away the camo. And went back here. <laughs> that's, that's what peak laziness looks like. That's what peak laziness looks like. So now, now they're basically giving us a Roma for the third time. Yeah. 
copy pasta basically it's still there yeah so but um, looks like uh, the Vittoria is just gonna be yet another one um, I have a hard time believing they're gonna bother adding anything special to it in terms of um, in terms of armor let's see let's look at the armor standard Roma's armor is great but there's not gonna be a turtle back here no it's a huge citadel yeah this is just standard Roma standard Roma so that means good concealment fast ship and uh, probably really fast shell velocity that, that hits all over the place <laughs> All right, I'll do the stream raiders thing. Uh, I'll do the stream raiders thing since I know you guys have been asking for it, and then we'll go check out uh, the tier ten Italian. Let's do the stream raider thing real fast. Get it over it. Yeah, start the battle. We got this boys. Easy clap. Easy clap. Easy clap. This is the boss fight, right? Oh, is it two bosses? But dude. How many of you guys were we? Holy crap. My chat has really gotten into this. God damn. Wolvix? What the hell, man? Dude, calm down. Jesus. What is Wolvix playing? Dragon? Damn, he's tanking, but he's dead. Both tanks. Let's go, boys. Well done, boys. Well done. Oh, what do you get? Centurions, monks, monks. Grant rewards. Back to map. Okay, let's see. Enter event. Is this the next map or something? Haunted Woods. Okay, let me collect this. Dude, I just want to go back to looking at shit. Whoa, what did I do? Collect. Sure. Is this some new event thing? I think it is. Which way do we want to go? It looks like there's better bosses. Oh, there's chests here. I guess we want to go for the chest ASAP. Yeah, we can go for all the chests. That sounds like a good idea. Let's go. Start battle. Very easy. We can start this one early, but now we're going to go back. And now I'm going to change the port because I keep forgetting to change the port. Actually, let's go port. Let's change it. Polygon? No. Let's do fjords. I love fjords. Fjords is literally the art department just flexing or how damn good they are. Veneto is already better as she doesn't use German dispersion formula like Roma does. But does German dispersion formula even exist anymore? It doesn't. Didn't where they were all given like they were all given I can't remember what dispersion formula. But I think they removed that. German got standard basically. Okay, what in Baltimore? Oh, thank you, Ara Ara is here. Oh, hello. Oh, my. Thank you, Ara. Oh, my. I appreciate it, man. All right, are you home from uh, school? Or do you just have some free time? I appreciate, I appreciate the sharings. All right, let's see. Let's go check out the tech tree next time. Tier 10 ship. C Colombo. Go to equipment. Nothing to upgrade here, I hope. No. Good. We do have our exhaust smoke generator. About a damn time. Uh, 180 second reload. Jack of all trades is going to be super useful on these, as well as the flag that reduces the cooldown. Um, spotting aircraft and of course standard heal by the looks of it sap and AP so pretty standard here and the gun caliber is of course 381 let's go look at the ship itself oh man that's a lot of gun I mean that's that's an imposing looking set of turrets I will give you that that is an imposing looking set of turrets god damn that's, that's a lot of guns, my dude. That is a lot of guns. I do like the look of that. So we got four, yeah, four x4 turrets. 16 guns. Can shoot down its own plane. Except this is World of Warships, so the plane would pro probably survive. 1.5 Sigma. Oh boy. <laughs> oh boy. 
Okay, let's see. Let's check out the armor. 32 plate. It does have an icebreaker of 60. Deck armor 50. I think it was higher, but they nerfed it. It was 55, but they nerfed it to 50. Because only glorious Kremlin, only glorious Soviet can have like super armor. No one else is allowed to have it. And 70 millimeter upper belt. That's going to be very resistant though. 70 is a nice value to have. You shatter basically everything. Um, no aura pens from AP though, keep that in mind. 70 is going to be enough to arm all the AP in the game basically. And 360 degree turrets on the back turrets. Yes, I've heard that as well. Casemate 40. These turrets can turn like forward through the ship like this, as far as I understood. Mm -mm. Let's see. 50, all 50, 70, and then the stern. No ice, no no protection on the bow. So this thing can be, can be blapped through the bow to some extent. Let's see that. Okay, first of all, let's get rid of this. We can look at that in just a second. 31! Oh, well, that's not that impressive. 31% torpedo belt. Um, significantly less than we had on the earlier tiers. Bow, sorry, stern. Did I say bow? I meant stern. Mm. I think the elevated turret in the back can do 360. I think we saw a picture of uh, one of these ships um, with the, the, the turrets pointed right in on itself. I think this one can turn. I'm not sure if this one can. Can it elevate enough to turn through the ship? We did see a picture with um, the stern guns pointed straight forward. That remains to be seen though, but that's a potential. Yeah, it was not the American BB Wargaming video. I think both the guns were pointed forward in that one. Both of these were pointed this way. So uh, we're gonna assume that these guns can turn 360 based on what we saw in the video. All right, let's see. There, the, on this guy though, let's double check. Yeah, on this guy, the Citadel is going to be probably the one of the most protected Citadels in the entire game. The Citadel on this thing is completely absurd. This one should not have an elevated like the other ones. All the other ships in this line have an elevated Citadel. This Citadel, yeah, it's basically waterline. It's basically a waterline Citadel. Pretty much exactly on the waterline. It is basically a perfect waterline citadel and it's protected by probably one of the meatiest turtlebacks you'll see. It is very sloped. So I, I don't even know if you can get through this in any way, like regardless of turning. First of all, this see that this turtle bike extends so deep underneath the water. So even if you make a full turn, I don't think you can lift this out of the water. And uh, the slope is so shallow. I don't think there's any way you can actually get through it, even with plunging fire, like you can on some German BBs. I don't think you can get through this turtle bag. It's just so sloped. So, yeah, 40, so no, yeah. I, I, I Honestly, I don't see this thing being Citadel. I, don't, I really don't see this thing being Citadel. Sure, we're probably gonna see it. It might have the German weakness. The German weakness is, of course, that you can also sh you can shoot through here, where I'm aiming right now. You can punch through at the right angle, you can punch through the side and bypass the tur turtle bank and get right into the citadel. But uh, I guess it's doable. It's 60. It's not that bad. I guess it's doable. But oh, just like with the Germans, that's extremely rare. It doesn't happen often. It's a really hard shot. So incredibly unlikely as well. Incredibly unlikely. So citadel wise, this thing is going to be incredibly protected. Incredibly protected. HE wise, well, 50 will be enough to farm the deck armor. It's got a lot of superstructure going for it, and the nose is vulnerable, as is the bow, sorry, the stern. Um, so, it's, to some extent, it, it will be at close ranges, it will be very HE and resistant because of this. It's going to be hard to hit the deck armor. 89.9k mm, health, though. 89.9k health is uh, not really that impressive. Let's see, artillery, 4x4, 381, 38 second reload, but you will, because you can't run the better dispersion on, like on the Americans, you will be running reload mode. So that's gonna be what, 34 second reload? A bit more than that, about 34, 33 point something. 
33 point something second reload and it's gonna be with sap 14,000 damage sap volleys 16 guns worth of sap the sigma is supposed to be 1.5 but I mean even then this thing has potential really really nasty firepower sap pen of course is 96 millimeters which means it can basically farm everything in the game so um, potential really really hard hitting really really hard hitting sap volleys the range is only 18.9 you do have spotter plane but 18.9 is pretty damn limited for a tier 10 battleship no matter how you look at it 18.9 is pretty shit um Turtleverse 30, that's very, very good. And yeah, that's pretty much it. Shell velocity is on sap especially, it's very fast, 880. Mm -mm -mm -mm. AA, well, we only need to look at this part. The downside of being an Italian ship, 4.6 km AA is garbage here. Absolute garbage here. The DPS on the, let's see, short range, 2km. Oh, the mid-range AA DPS is actually really good. 406 on 3.5. That's actually really high AA DPS. Um, but the problem is the range is so damn limited. And then there's the delay before they start shooting. And flak, 8 flak is nice. But once again, it's one, one kilometer area where the action zone is very, very small. So, yeah. Probably not going to have time to use throws too much flak at the ships. Maneuverability, 18 seconds, 960. It, it's a clumsy boy, but then, it, then again, it is a tier 10 BB, so that's kind of to be expected. What's SAP armor pen? A 96. 29.6 with speed flag, you'll do like 31. That's not too bad. It's, it's a bit slow, but I mean, it's not Yamato slow. Interesting. Concealment, it's, ooh, that's not good. 17.9 is pretty rough. What do you get that to? That's not gonna be very impressive. For some reason, one of the 152 mm secondary turrets really left has different stats from the rest. Interesting. But that's 1405 with the full build. Then again, you good, and that air detectability is garbage as well. Hmm. Yeah, I don't know about this. I mean, it does have the smoke. That's the gimmick. It has access to the to the exhaust smoke, which allows it to stay on the move and go undetected when it wants to. But it's still it, it's 14 km concealment. is pretty standard, and it's not exactly impressive. Um, and with this speed rushing in, even with the smoke, is isn't exactly going to be an easy task. You can't really use your guns while using the smoke either. So we'll we'll see how it plays. We'll see how it plays. Let's see, how, how vulnerable is this thing to AP Bombers? That's a fair bit of real estate to drop on. That's a fair bit of real estate to drop on. It's not as wide as the entire ship as some other ships, but that's still a juicy Citadel to hit. Luigi is going to be god tier in this. Yeah, Luigi is going to be just so good. Especially the improved, like basically everything Luigi brings is going to be great. Range, consumable duration. Faster reload, all of it is going to be fantastic. This is a this is a very I, I do like the look of this ship though. I gotta say, it's not quite as slim. It's like a chunky Italian boy. Too much pasta, too much pesto, but it's still a cool looking ship. And I do find these turrets to look incredibly menacing on this one. We didn't really speak about the secondaries, but then again, it's Italian secondaries. So what is the range? Five. Ugh, the, the biggest issue here really is these are 90 millimeters. And 90 millimeter secondaries are basically as garbage as you can get and because you don't pen anything. You don't even pen DDs. Like I want to highlight the fact that these shell, these secondaries can shoot DDs and do no damage. They will shatter on DD armor. The standard DD armor is 19. And these things have 50 millimeter, 15 millimeter pen. So these secondaries are literally not going to accomplish anything. The vast majority of these secondaries are basically a decoration. It's kind of like AA in World of Warships. It looks very impressive. You're going to see a lot of action happening, but it's not actually going to do anything. So basically the secondaries in AA will go hand in hand on this ship. This has 25. That will be somewhat decent. And then we have the other. Why does this thing have such a weird reload? 
not sure why. These will do something at least, but it's eight second reload and it's only 5k range, so not very effective either. Not very effective either. It's 18 millimeter with IFHE. Yeah, why would you be, imagine building IFHE on a SAP ship? Probably not the best choice. <laughs> Okay, so that's the Italian ones then. That's the Italian ones. I, I think they might be cool. I mean, we'll have to test them. They look pretty interesting though. The whole SAP gimmick means that uh, they have some huge volley potential, even against angle ships. We'll see how it works. We'll see how it works. We'll see how it works. Okay, what else do we have? Shit, did I close my tab? I think I closed that tab. Oh, that's because shit. What else do we have? We have Ise and Tone. And Ise and Tone, I think. Let's see. Can we find them? Uh, uh, uh. The Kitakami, Arashi, Hisen. There Ise. Oh, there's different Ises. Or is it Tone? It's in tier 8, isn't it? Yeah, there it is. Okay, so what are these? S default soon. Can we even look at it? Preview ship. Oh, we can look at it. Oh shit, we can look at it. Okay, let's see. Hmm. Eight guns. One that one turret, man. Holy crap! That's that is a tight fit. And then on the back, Jesus. Okay, I mean. I have to say, art department once again. This thing looks looks pretty damn spicy. Let's see. Let's take a look at this guy. Um, does it have any equipment? What what equipment are we running on this thing? This is the torpedo bomber squadron. Size of attacking flight three, aircraft for squadron three, torpedoes in payload two. They the damage is very very little, but it's tier six. I think you pick depending on which hull. I think the hulls that you we can select there, uh, you pick based on that. Yeah, so this is the torpedo bomber hull, and if I would want, if I picked another one of these, like this one, I think this is going to be dive bomber hull. You're not known to be a humble man. Yeah, this is dive bomber hull. He bomber. I think I'm much more humble than you would understand. Okay, so is there? There's probably going to be a rocket plane one, which is. Chosai, thank you for the six. So the question is, do you want to use rocket torpedo planes to create your own crossfires, or do you want to use rocket planes to hunt enemy DDs in a battleship? Because that's what you're going to be able to do. Jesus. We'll see. <laughs> we'll see how that works. We'll see how that works. Let's take a look at the ship itself. Let's take a look at the ship itself. Um, is that... Oh, different, they, they haven't textured the turrets on this one, right? They're totally different textures on the on the turrets and the other one. I'm I'm not drunk, am I? Look, look at the turrets there, and then look at the turrets here. See? Different color. Create your own crossfire with torpedoes. Okay, let's say uh, a battleship, a Dunkirk, is sitting nose in, fighting me. A Dunkirk is sitting nose in fighting me. I send out my torpedo squadron and I drop him from the side. Either if it starts turning in towards the torps, I instantly press, press F, jump back to my own ship, and then I shoot him as he gives broadside. Basically, I can create my own crossfires. If he doesn't turn in, well, then I just farm him with torpedo bombers. But these torpedoes don't exactly look like the most terrifying thing in in the history of anything. Two two point eight k of maximum torp damage. Um, and the best thing you can probably do go for is go for bow and stern heads. Force a damage con, then maybe break turrets. I don't know. There's potential there, but uh, the damage doesn't exactly look that impressive. Let's check out the armor here. Twenty six millimeters. Okay, what's the survivability? F Ooh, that's Jesus. That's a lot of health for a tier 6, goddamn. That's a lot of health for a tier 6. 26mm plate, 35mm deck armor, more than Odin, right? Uh, 
armor plate 44 here 35 when oh, this this is all very vulnerable this entire area is extremely vulnerable so a lot of he potential to spam and a lot of just ap or match to spam as well let's see get rid of the torpedo belt what do we have here armor armor how does your citadel look my friend oh it is protected by a turtle back it is most certainly protected by a turtle back how big is it oh auxiliary room armor they have added a new one that one is literally new that armor thing didn't exist in the past they've literally added it i think just for this ship and just for upcoming other ships i guess tone as well interesting can you be citadel through the booty through this entire flight deck thing i wonder i wonder there is a bit of turtleback going on but i mean if it is fuso hull then what the fuck that's the weirdest looking citadel i have ever seen what in god's name is this sit holy shit that's a weird looking citadel okay that is literally the funkiest citadel i've ever seen this is a really complex armor scheme holy shit i've never seen a sit like that It's like Fuso with a turtle back, but I mean, with how different shape this turt armor is, it's probably going to be vulnerable, especially at range to just citadels. Because this is not a whole lot of armor, especially this. 199, that's not much against bat for a battleship. So, uh, potential punching through here and just getting sits is, is absolutely Thanks for the content and a probability for even. YouTube vids. Please report me. Thank you for the 12 months, my dude. Chosa, thank you for the six. So yeah, this thing is very, very potentially very vulnerable. Strange. At range, I think it's going to be vulnerable. Close range, just HE and overmatch is going to dumpster it. And weebs. We'll see how it plays. But this is a lot of area to farm with HE. Like, like I, I, if you shoot HE at this thing, there is more surface area to get pens on than there is not. There's just so much to farm here. So much to farm. Let's see. Let's, we looked at the aircraft. Let's see. Artillery. 356. 8 guns. 30 second reload. Yeah, looks like standard Fuso guns. Makes sense. 356, of course, at tier 6 is not exactly that impressive. The external TDS is a black hole for HE. That's a fair point. This part is going to eat. Oh, it's so big as well. But I mean, you're just going to be shooting this with HE instead. Not this. Not the, not the, not the armor belt. AA defense. 76 for Infuso. Let's see. Continuous. Pretty garbage. Really? That doesn't look that impressive. 165 at tier 6. Hmm. I guess it's okay but it doesn't look that well protected. Six flak though, huh? Interesting. Interesting. Firing range 5.8. 120 millimeter AA rocket. What the f what? Whoa, whoa, whoa. I completely missed that. What the shit is that? What the hell am I watching? It's got six batteries of these AA rockets. Is it gonna be like Hood's AA rockets? What's the range on them? Shit, I wish I could see the range on them. 6630. I mean... Considering it's World of Warships, these are basically fireworks launchers. It's probably going to look really cool, and then it's not going to do anything, just like all AA, so. Interesting, though. That looks pretty modern, yeah. That looks pretty damn modern. They are part of long range, really. That's going to be... That's going to be interesting to see. Let's see, speed 24.5, 750. Hmm. Whoa, 15.8? That's pretty good. Isn't that better than Fuso? With Concealment Expert, that's going to be 14 point something. Interesting. 
Obviously, you say and foos are a different class? Sure. The ceiling's soft, the floor is soft, the walls are soft, and to an extent... The it's not as tall as the fuso, that's fair. Boing, boing. Less than one week until America turns into a massive shit show. Uh, until? <laughs> Thank you, Unholy Carp. Cool looking ship though, I gotta, I'll, I'll give it that. We'll see, we'll see how on earth they're gonna try to hope to balance this entire thing. How, how they're gonna hope to balance this fiesta. I ha I have my doubts, man. Okay, let's go check it. What what other one? Tona. Where is Tona? Uh, here we go. Once again, depending on what ship you choose, you probably get a different loadout. Go to equipment. Uh, this is Ise. What? Okay, calm down. Let's try this again. Okay, you are. Who you are? You are. Calm down. Calm down. Go to. There we go. Now it's sweet. Oh shit! That's a lot of things to slot. Normal torps plus carrier torpedoes. These things also do absolutely lethal damage. Hydro heal. And how does this thing look? That's the real question. How on earth does this thing... Oh, look at the detectability. Look at 11.2. That's without modules. Oh, shit. That's without modules. You add in concealment camo and uh, concealment module? Dude, this thing is going to be a Targo stealthy almost. Jesus. It has a heal as well at tier 8. Hello? How many cruisers at tier 8 don't need a heal already? But this thing has a heal as well. Jesus. I saw that one, Mr. Snuggles. Let's see. Okay. The four turrets in the front. The weirdest setup ever, but historically accurate. <laughs> it's because it's a CV and Wargaming loves CVs. Good argument. Two sets of torps on both sides, and the carrier planes. Jesus. That is such a weird design, man. That is such a weird design. It's converted hull? Yeah, converted Mogami hull. Let's see, armor layout. 27, 27, wait, upper nose? This is 27. What? Okay, 25, 27. I haven't seen this before. Usually it's the entire nose. Tones are improved Mogamis. Flomo, no, Tone are scout cruisers. They were own design. Weren't they based on the Mogami? Because weren't they a continuation to the Mogami? No? I think I'm much more humble. Based but improved. Yeah, that's what I thought. Nope. Okay. Interesting. 27, 27. Torpedo belt 27. Hmm. 25 knows. Once again, 27 upper though. This is weird. This is weird, I haven't seen this before on cruisers. Usually if the entire bow is 25 or stern is 25, then it's all 25, but it's got a 27 uh, deck armor. That's kind of weird. Thank you, Grosspack, Grosspack the six, 46. Oh, that's the Citadel. It looks like waterline. It's gonna elevate in the center, as it does for Mogami. Oh yeah, yep, yep, yep. Okay, oh shit, it elevates a lot. Wait, how much does this thing elevate? Oh shit. Oh shit. Drum roll, drum roll. Boom, boom. Yep, it's the standard. <laughs> That's a lot of citadel. That's a lot of citadel. So this thing can absolutely be blapped. Um, and this thing, it, it's... On, on, the to on the Zao, this thing is lower. So it works more as a troll armor, because you can bounce off of this. But on the on the Mogamis and these, the Citadel is so high that you just get punched straight into the Citadel through the side. So, 
This is why it has a heel, of course. Also, AP bombers will like this ship. Holy fuck, that's a lot of real estate. Thank you, Spherical Chimp, for the seven. Yeah. Interesting. Can't you shoot unspotted around islands because all the guns are so far forward? I think technically you can. You gotta remember that um, the detection point of a ship is based on the center of the ship. And this is the center where my mouse is right now. So technically if you just park like this behind an island and you just peek out all these guns, you can kind of shoot around the island. Also because of the way the, the, the citadel is shaped, you might get away with it because if this is the island and they're shooting underneath here, they're gonna struggle to citadel you because it's waterline. It's it's barely waterline though, or it's pretty much exactly waterline, so you can still be sit, but you might be able to get away with it. Interesting. We'll see. We'll see how that works. Really weird, uh, really weird looking ships now. On the BB, I can see it working better because on the BB, Tanisha, thank you for because in the BB you have. Well, it's, you, you got this long reload between shells and you, you can sit and be spotted and tank nose in without any issues. But if you try to do that in a Mogami or Tone or whatever, you're just going to be absolutely evaporated. So I, I guess what you can do is while you're repositioning with the ship, like you're sending your ship, you're repositioning to one side of the map. While you're doing that, you can harass them with the planes in the, during the downtime. Um, that, that would maybe make sense. Hmm. Can you show how they move planes in and out of this thing? Can you even see it from here? Can you even see it from here? Where the hell did they move them from? God damn. There is a crane, yeah. You you land in the ocean, then they pick you up. The pontoons and stuff. Jesus, okay. Wait, have we been going so long that there's another raid battle? Oh shit, okay. Uh, let me do raiders right real fast. My ass is what the fuck? Scotty, thank you for the 14. 14 months of my life wasted on this biffle. <laughs> Keep up the great work. Tanish, thank you for the four. What's the boss here? Level 20 Scarecrow. Well, that was easy. Oh yeah, never mind, this was an early one. Okay. Okay, that was an easy one. What was this? Tanks? Oh. I could have started that one early because it was so easy. Um, okay, what, what's this? Bronze badge. I don't know what I just got. But sure, collect. Archer scrolls, sure. Okay, um... I think we just go straight here. Let's go straight here so we can get... What is this? Is this... Oh, is that golden chest? Is that better than this chest, chat? Is that chest better? It looks better. There's a green chest here and golden chest here. It's loyal to 200 gold. Both chests look really good. Or do we want to go for this chest? Loyal, gain more gold. Viewers unlock more loyalty chest rewards as they win more battles. Nice. What's this? Gain extra tokens. Uh, let's go for the gold. And we can go through here and to the boss. Pick up all this shit on the way. How's that? Yeah, let's go through here. Go for the green? Is the green better? Fine, I'll go for the green for you guys, champ. And I'll go for the green for you guys. Wait, how do we get there? We need to go down. We need to get take this shit on the way. Fine. We can start it early. We can start it early. Okay, let's drag and drop a monk here. Alright. Okay, where were we? We looked at the tonic, we looked at the ESM. What is that? That's like, uh, you join it, it's a stream raid. Basically, uh, I go on raids and then chat joins me on the raids and they can level up their army and characters and get stronger and so forth. 
What else did we have? We have the ARP thing, right? We had the ARP thing that was added. What all ARP things were added? Oh, it is Arpeggio. Mm -mm -mm. What the hell did they add to ARP? Can you see ARP here? No. Is it in clans? LARP ARP? No, not in clans. I think it's under Japan. Yeah, under Japan far right. That would make sense. How far right now? Oh shit, there, here they are. So which ones have they added? Which are the new ones? The Yamato is new, Maya is new. What else is new? I think only those. Let's check out Maya. It's just gonna be a... It's just gonna be an Otago, right? Come on, you are, you can do it. Yeah, it's just an Atago. An Atago with the different camo. I-401 is old. Old as hell. It's been, it's been in the game for like years at this point. Eh, I guess. Let's see how the Yamato looks. Maybe that one is cooler. Uh oh, wait, how do we go? Back. There we go. Preview should purchase 35,000 doubloons. Holy crap, are you kidding me? Hmm. Eh, uh, looks really weeb. Looks really weeb. Mild surprise. Is that golden guns? It is golden guns, goddamn. Actually, golden barrels. Bling bling, baby. Oh, golden anchors as well. Better not lose those. Better not break those chains. God damn. Expensive. Expensive, man. Can only fire them once. <laughs> okay, wait, let me check. What, what else did they add? What else did they add? Uh, what else did they add in this patch? Let me see. Pat, American Batch. Patch. They added these, they added that. Ba -ba -da -ba -da -ba -da. Content additions and changes. Um, Arp Maya, Arp Yamato, permanent camo for Musashi. And, oh, Black Cossack, Black Shambard, Black Kaga, Black Atlanta. Can we see those in, in the front here? Oh yeah, Shambard Beam. So many B variations, right? And how dare people say that Wargaming is greedy? They just removed the Sean Bart from the store because it was too popular. And then by a sheer coincidence, they just happened to add it back into the game as a blank version. Complete coincidence. How dare you? How dare you judge them, man? It just happened to be this way. It just happened to be removed for being too popular and then being added right back in a different version. Coincidence, I'm sure. Okay, no joke, it does look fucking cool though. It does look goddamn cool. No joke, it does look really, really good. Oh man. Why does it have to look so good, man? And there's the Atlanta black version, but we're not gonna look at that because who buys an Atlanta in the current state? Then there's the Cossack, uh, and and and. Consistent. I'm a very stable. Genius. Cossack and what else? Coincidence? Who knows? What well, Cossack would you UK, right? Mm -mm, there it is. In black Kaga. Okay. This thing looked pretty cool. If I yeah. Oh man. Yeah, Consac is a nice looking ship. God damn. The silver barrels and everything. That's a slick looking but oh damn, that's a slick looking beast. That is a slick looking beast indeed. God damn. Volvix, thank you for the 36 months, my dude. Okay. Now what else? Then oh yeah, uh, uh let's see. Port 
Musashi. Musashi Perma Camo. Let's see. Vobist have a Musashi. There he is. Let's see. What do we have? Can we see it? Wait. This is the old one, right? Where can? Wonder where we can? Where can we see the Perma Camo? Is there anywhere we can see it? Nowhere we can see it. It's the one you could. Oh yeah, it's the one you can. It's in the dev blog, right? The one you can unlock. Unfortunate. Oh well, you can't see that one. We could see everything else. Not yet in game. Yeah, they haven't added it yet. Well, that was pretty cool. That was pretty cool. Uh, that was a look see at the upcoming stuff.